The sun is setting on Friday, April 2nd, 2010. I'm Jimmy O, the water guy. My message today has to do with bottled waters, specialty waters, and soft drinks, aka sodas. Most of them are distributed in plastic bottles, and there's a huge backlash towards the plastic bottles that carry water to us. Why is the is is not the same backlash pointed in the direction of the beverage industry when it comes to sodas? That's question number one. Question number two has to do with the ingredients in soda, in diet soda, and how many people truly recognize what they're pouring into their body. I was at my kid's house today and I picked up an empty plastic bottle and in big letters, the nice green background, it was a green tea water. It sounded lovely. And in a little bit smaller print, nature's best or something like that. And in this tiny, tiny print were the ingredients and typically that's where I go. I go and read that stuff. I'm a little bit of a freak, I guess. So the first ingredient's water. That's good. The second ingredient was green tea. That's good. Third ingredient was black tea. All right. The fourth ingredient I had trouble pronouncing. The fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth ingredient. This is a water. I had trouble pronouncing phosphorus something. A lot of them ended with A-T-E. Sulfates. And it got me wondering, are these natural? By the way, when you see in a, in a list of ingredients natural flavors or artificial flavors, what the heck are they? <laughs> okay, something to think about. Anyway, when it comes to diet sodas, Typically the third or fourth largest ingredient, because ingredients are listed in volume order. And the third or fourth largest ingredient in a diet soda is, an, is, a, is a chemical. It's an ingredient in the soda, but it's a chemical that you could buy at your hardware store. And it's available in the industrial cleaner section. Sodium phosphate or sodium phosphorus or something like that. I once walked into a hardware store and I saw for 10 bucks I could buy a one pound box, clean my kitchen sink, or maybe add it to a Coca-Cola so, so that it becomes Diet Coke. Lucky me. Maybe save a few bucks that way. Anyway, the final thought for the day. Imagine, in terms of the advertising for these natural health waters, for these sodas rather than seeing in big bold letters positive coca-cola pepsi we bring good things to life yeah baby maybe if that was in the small print that you couldn't read without a magnifying glass and in the large print the first thing you see in the advertisements were the ingredients and these ingredients you couldn't pronounce would you still drink it? I wonder. There's a good chance a lot of people possibly would still drink it because it tastes good and it brings good things to life. Anyway, those are my thoughts. And in terms of the plastic bottles, a touch more awareness for recycling those bottles might help the process. And a little bit of noise towards the beverage, towards the soda industry, not just the bottled water industry, but the bottled soda industry, which I'll guarantee you produces and distributes more plastic bottles than what uh, is produced for bottled water. Maybe that'll be my next topic, or maybe that's enough for today. I wish you well. I wish you to pay attention to what you put in your body.
Let's move forward. Let's progress away from current standard practice. Bye for now.